Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how I can get rid of these scars right here on this image and as you can see quite a few. Uh, first advice I would say when photographing this make sure you have your camera on a tripod, a steady tripod and make sure that uh, when you take you take lots and lots of photos to make sure you cover all the empty areas that are the fixed areas. So let's go to Photoshop and show you how to do it. So I've got this image here, folder, and I'm going to file, scripts, and I'm going to statistics. And right here we have choose stacking mode. I'm going for median, and I'm going to use files, or you can pick folder, but I'm going just for files, browse, and these are the ones. So I'm going to select them all and click OK. Uh, attempt to automatically align source images. I know mine are aligned, so if in doubt, please check, tick this. I'm just going to click OK and now Photoshop will calculate uh, what whatever was moving on the image and do its magic and as you can see bang job done I understand in here it's not spot on this is why I told you take lots and lots of photos uh, another thing is as you can see this converted smart object so when you double cl double click this is a smart object so if you remove any of the photos or hide any of the photos and then you close it and save the changes it will apply the same statistics into the image as you can see right here so I'm going to double click and I'm just going to select them all of them as before save the changes and applies that same statistic and you can see this arrow pointing down it says here stack mode median what about if you want to do exactly the opposite and you might wonder why would you do that and I'm going to show you exactly so I've got here this folder and I've got some photos uh, this was taken on Saturday just like the other one and as you can see there's some cool light trails and I really like light trails but I want to combine all of them into one single image so instead of masking out one by one let's see what Photoshop can do so I'm going back to Photoshop going to close the other one I don't need it I'm going to file scripts statistics and right here instead of median I'm going for maximum and I'm going to browse and that's part two and select these images click OK and as before if you want to align them mine ones I know they are aligned and I'm going to click OK and now just like before Photoshop it's calculating every everything on the image that's moving but it's doing exactly the opposite instead of reducing it's actually adding as you can see so now we've got this still as a smart object so just like before I'm going to just close so now I can go to filter camera filter and I can tweak this image a bit further so I'll add some more contrast just bring down the exposure a touch some blacks bit more white a lot of clarity oh there you go something like this and probably I just drag a graduated filter just to bring down a bit more the exposure and the temperature just something like so and click OK and there you go super cool and Photoshop did all most of the work thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.